did the culture make it happen and what was so special about your culture that actually got you so far? Um, I, 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 I'd like to always uh, turn it around and that I learned a lot from the American culture. I really learned uh, how to win, how to, how to become a leader, how to um, uh, get the best out of not only myself, but also get the best out of the team um, whom you're working with, whom you're playing with. So I, uh, yes, I, I came or we, we all come from a country where we play hockey at a rather young level. We have the best facilities, uh, how many turfs that we have in only the city of Amsterdam and um, we're a small country. So playing competition is also on a good level because we don't have to travel a lot. But in the US, I really learned how to work for um, getting what you want. And I think that's also something that I took back when I went back to the national team. Um, yes, it took me a little while to get on the same technical level um, because I think the pace of playing is, is higher in Holland, uh, especially when you talk about the national, international level. But uh, the work ethic and the mentality to really, really go for something that you, you speak out, uh, that's what I learned in the, at JMU. I wonder how did you feel like as an international student being there? For the first time, um, I, 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 yes, you enroll into like an international student community. You, you guys must must recognize that. But because we started uh, preseason and I came in right when we started, I must say I, I never really hang out with my other international student friends or people. Um, I was mainly focused uh, on the team, and there were no in the beginning. There were no other international students there there were some guys at the soccer team that came from uh, uh, Sweden and Finland um, but but I merely uh, hang out with uh, with the team with the hockey team so I, I did not really hang out with uh, and I did not really participate in the international student program and I think it's yeah. funny that you chose JMU part of a little bit because there were not that many internationals and mm -hmm. I mean I know I chose it because I don't want to be I don't want to have the experience of going to America and being a team with only internationals you want to experience what it is here yeah. and it's funny that you a uh, lot of years before you had the same experience I mean I didn't know Dita committed and Dita didn't know I was committed until after we both committed we're like whoa that's actually really funny but we didn't Go here yeah. for the internationals. In fact, yeah. I, it went really yeah. well. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's true. I mean, the, the, when when I um, joined JMU, there were um, uh, ODU and 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 uh, UNC. They both had had a lot of Dutch girls going and join their program. And for that reason, I just didn't want to go there. Um, maybe maybe going against the stream a little bit, but. Um, and, and, and I must really say the, the, the location, the campus, and, and the, the, where, where I really loved the, yeah. whole, the, whole, in the whole picture. So, um, yeah, and I, I never any regrets. I, I had the most wonderful time. It, it's been one of the, the best experience, not for me, mainly for me as a person, but in hindsight, also for me as a hockey player. Yeah, so another question. You... Were you a captain on the JMU team as well? Um, I, yes, I was. I always have to think about the years, you know. The, yeah. Because I, I, was, I was on the average a little bit older when I joined JMU. Because I already, when I was, I was 21. Um, mm -hmm. So I, even though I was a freshman, I kind of was in age uh, more like a junior, I think. Or, so I think after the first year, I became one of the captains, but there were always three or four. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that, I mean, it, it, was, it was very smart. I also learned a lot by, you know, um, sharing responsibilities in the level of age and the level of experience. So that's something that I had not experienced before. We only, always have one captain and a vice captain, but never so many people representing the different groups. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, I was, I was one of the captains also when we won um, the championship. But I must say, that's why I have to think about it. It, it, all, it, it. My whole three and a half years there felt like it was one big group performance. Mm -hmm. So it, I always look back at it as a, a wonderful team effort and uh, uh, a lot of fun also that we, uh, we had.
you know? mm. so what are some things you would say like everyone on a team can use that and step up as a leader what are some really some things you took away from characteristics it? yeah well i think you always have to stay close to what you're good at and also know what you are not so good at so I brought in a lot of the hockey, the technical and the uh, aspects. And um, I, I think my role was to uh, be a leader on, on that area. Um, and going through the months and years, I also learned how to become a leader um, of the team off the field and also on a more mental aspect. And, and yes, I, I already had an Olympic experience um, so I also brought in experience, you know, there are different phases in a game where you have to make different decisions depending on the score or depending on the team or whatsoever. So I, I always felt it was my responsibility to bring that into the team and become a leader in that aspect. But on the other hand, you also have to earn the role of a leader. So you, you, you can put it down on paper, but in the end, you have to always um, lead by example. And I always tried to do so. Um, I, I now think about lifting, all the lifting and all the, the physical stuff I was not very good at. So I lifted the bar. So I wasn't say leading by example in that area, but at least I participated in also weightlifting and all that stuff. Um, but no, I, I, I think it's important to, to, to be a leader in um, what you're also capable of doing and uh, practice what you preach. So lead by example. 